subscribe, share, and join our newsletter down below. Now, our next story, you guys. The plot thickens. Let me see where I want to start with this. You know what? Let's start with here. Let's start here. So this is according to page six. So as we know, Billy Lee used to be on Vanderpump Rules for like one season. She was not a hit. The cast did not like her. Production found her problematic. She was subsequently fired. Okay. Now we know everybody has been coming off the woodwork. Stassi, Kristen, um, Billy, Peter, like everybody, Sheena, everybody's been weighing in. Now there's been the question of whose quote side is Billy Lee on? Lala said that Ariana did something very similar that she did when she broke up with Randall. So we know that when Lala broke up with Randall, she got everybody together and she was like, listen, you're either on my team or you're on his team. There's no in between. You know, I don't care what side you pick, but just know if it's not my team, I'm done with you. Lala said that Ariana has done something very similar where she's kind of said to everybody, you either on my team or you're on his team. There's no in between. So that's kind of what, what, Ariana has said that's sort of been her line in the sand. So with that, let's dive in. Billy Lee defends Tom Sandoval friendship and says that he and Ariana and Ariana Maddox are both hurting. Yes. And by he, I mean, Tom, not, I'm not referring to her as a he. Okay. Let's go. So after fans blasted Lee for cozying up to Sandoval amid the fallout of his affair with co-star Raquel Levis, she took to Instagram to explain her stance. Now, this is what's on the screen. Tom and Ariana are my family. They have been there for me over the years, and I wouldn't be where I am today without them. The Pump Rules alum, 39, penned in a post on Tuesday, making sure to deactivate the comments. I'm sure she did deactivate the comments. It saddens me that people are so fixated on picking a side. Both are human and are both hurting in their own ways. The former sir, okay, hold on one second. So she says, I'm going to read it again. Tom and Ariana are my family. They have been there for me over the years and I wouldn't be where I am today without them. It saddens me that people are so fixated on picking a side. Both are human and are both hurting in their own ways. I'm allowed to be friends with one of my best friends who made a mistake while still holding him accountable and not commending what commending what he did. I think she meant condoning. Anyway, anything else is extremely immature. There is a world where we can support and be there for both parties, and that's the world I choose to live in. Ariana seems to be in a way better place. I'm so happy that she is moving on, and Tom is really working hard on himself. I'll continue to love and support them unconditionally. She also clapped back at Kristen Doty. Remember, Kristen was just like, wow, you were at the house crying and everything, and now you're hanging out with him. Shake my head. Now, here we go. It's me, Billy Lee says, at Kristen Doty, yeah, I was crying because they both are my family. It was sad and still is. What were you doing while I was crying? Literally taking selfies with everyone, including Ariana. Like, who does that? It felt like a funeral and you were taking selfies. Read the room. Your friendship is fake and performative. All right. Let me tell you where I land on this one. And then I want to know what you guys think. Put it down below. This is kind of where I land with this one. And then we're going to get, and then we're going to get e into even more. You know what? Let me get into more scoop now. Cause this will, this will give some light to it. Now, the reason why I have Jax Taylor up on here is because of this. Either I didn't know, or I had forgotten, but Years ago, once Billy was fired, no longer on the show, and we also know that Billy had some sort of relationship with Anya, Ariana's brother. I don't know if they were was sexual or anything like that, but it was romantic. They dated, they went on dates, whatever. Jax Taylor allegedly, according to Billy, because I don't remember this, but it's coming out now, said that Tom Sandoval and Billy Lee 
were having a sexual affair behind Ariana's back. This was according to Billy Lee saying that this is what Jax Taylor was saying. So now, to be perfectly honest, I don't really even remember Billy Lee on the show like that. I don't know if I just blanked it out. The only thing I remember about Billy Lee is her yelling at Lala, you're not better than me, Lala. That's all I remember about Billy Lee, to be honest. But I think it's very telling that now there's rumors out that Billy Lee had a sleepover at Tom Sandoval's the other night and then left the next day in the same clothes. Now, I say all that to say where I land on this. At first, I was like, okay, you know what? I get it. Playing the fence can be tough. You know, you are friends with a couple. They break up and you want to stay friends with both people. You know, you want to be adult about it. You want to be there to support both people. Okay, that I get it. I get that. Fine. What I don't get is the sleepovers. What I don't get is wearing the, the same clothes the next day. Ariana has also unfollowed Billy at this point. Um, and the only reason why now I'm kind of like, Billy, you're moving very snake-like, you're moving a little dirty, is because when she brought up the fact that there was the rumor that she had been sleeping with Tom Sandoval behind Ariana's back. That's the only part I'm kind of like, eh. like if you're saying I love both of them, they both are hurting. I want to be both of their friends. I want to support both of them. Fine, fine. That's fine. But I do think it's a little weird to move with the sleeping over, wearing the same clothes, clapping, like doing the absolute most with that rumor hanging over you. especially when Ariana wasn't there, you know, they've all been at Coachella. They've all been, you know, hanging out and stuff. And I think for her to be like, well, Ariana's in such a good place now. She seems so happy. She's moving on. That's when I was like, now I'm really looking at you sideways, Billy, because sure, Ariana is smiling. She's hooking up with cute guys at Coachella. She's wearing the red revenge dress, but let's be honest she's probably still really hurting. It's only like a month and a half out, if that. So she's still probably, I don't think that you just say, oh, nine years and the, everything he did to her, oop, I'm better again, revenge body, hooking up. Those are coping mechanisms. I don't think that she's really sat down and digested every single thing. She's been booked, she's been busy, and those are great distractions. But I think saying, oh, she's moving on and she's having fun, I was like, Billy, now you're really just trying to use excuses. And what also caught me was, did you guys catch this when she said, your friendship, and she used the wrong your, it's, oh, it's Y-O-U-R, anyway, your friendship is fake and performative. This is also where I was like, Billy, you lost me. I'm not, I'm, you lost me on this one. Because performative is such a Sandoval and Schwartz word. We know how they both love to pretend like they're smarter than they are. They use all these big superfluous words that are great for the SATs. But after the SATs, like you saying it in real life, you just kind of sound douchey. They use it in the wrong context. They don't even know what they really mean. And performative just sounds like Schwartz and Sandy's terminology. So I'm like, okay, so you really are just regurgitating whatever Tom Sandoval told you to say. Also where Billy lost me is Tom loves to go after the girls. He loves to go after Kristen. He loves to go after Katie. He loves to go after Lala. He just loves to go after the girls. And again, I don't really remember Billy on the show, but I think she also got, she also went after the girls. Like they did not get along. And it just reminds me of how Sandoval always 
poisons certain girls against other girls. And then once that girl starts to hang out with the other girls, he no longer likes them. Like when Ariana first came on this on the scene, you know, he was poisoning her against Kristen, Kristen against her. Then the same thing with Raquel. Oh, she's so innocent, you guys. Oh, she's going through stuff, you guys. You guys are being bullies, blah, 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 blah. This screams Sandoval. Screams it. And if I were Billy and I had two friends and they are going through this horrible breakup, you know, they're broken up, one person did something bad. And I was like, you know what? I want to be there for both of them. I want to support both of them. I love them both. I consider them both family. They've supported me equally. Okay. But I am not going to be sleeping over the guy's house in any capacity. Do you know what I mean? I'm just not going to be sleeping over the guy's house. Like, I'm just thinking about that in my life. If I have two friends, a guy and a girl, and he's cheated on her systematically and repeatedly, I think the last thing I'm going to do is going to have a sleepover. So I do. So I get wanting to support both, but you do it in a clean, respectful way. And having a sleepover, particularly when there's been rumors, you know, I mean, Jax Taylor is a lot of things, but and he lies about stuff, but he never Jax Taylor usually lies about himself. Oh, I didn't do that. Oh, I did do that. Jax Taylor rarely lies on other people. You know, I don't know. I don't know. But again, I want to know what you guys think, you know, put it down below. What do you think about this? You know, what do you think about Billy Lee spending the night? What do you think about, you know, Jack saying that Billy and Tom had a sexual affair behind Ariana's back? You know, what do you think about Ariana unfollowing Billy and basically drawing a line in the sand? Put it down below. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think. All right. Now let's move on. I think I already covered it. But as we can see, I did want to give a shout out to Ariana. She was seen again cuddling with Daniel Way after Coachella. He seems to have gotten some type of mohawk buzz cut. And I think she dyed the tips of her hair maybe like a light pink or something, which is very Coachella, very cool. You know, whatever the case may be, super cute, super cute. 